Teru Teru and Wario manage to pull themselves out of the trap. It rarely happens, but it's happened today. And I think Teru Teru was a, one of the first people to do it. I think he might be the only person to do it twice. Good day, good people. To Dave, the United States Aviator in this year of the horizon, welcome. To part two, if you didn't, first of all, stop, stop right now, if you didn't see part one, go and check it out yesterday, it was a fun time. But for right now, welcome back to part two of... Danganronpa Ultimate! We got the rest of your cast here, with the rest of their mains, you saw the, you know what the rundown is for last time, a lot of these are fun too. I'm excited to go through them with you, let's check them out. Starting off at the top, we have Chisa, and Link, Munakata, and Ike, two sword masters, Saika and Jigglypuff, who I didn't give Snake because our beef is over, Jigglypuff, wonderful singer, Saika, singer, Tengen and Pac-Man, for one of the oldest gaming characters of all time, Hifumi, and Daisy, his princess, the great Gozu and Ken, Seiko and Krom, Chihiro and Sheik, Taka and Marth, Togami and Ganon. You remember Crazy Yoko Extra Large yesterday had Pikachu. Well, Crazy Yoko Extra Small clearly has Pichu. Mondo and Captain Falcon. Two incredible racers. Nagito and Mr. Game and Watch, he is solely going for the nines. Akane and Wii Fit Trainer, Fuyihiko and Villager, solely for the slingshot. Peko and Lucina. Teru Teru and Wario. Ibuki and Young Link. Gundam and Pokemon Trainer. Izuru and Mewtwo, Shuichi and Pit, Rantaro and Luigi, Yuda and Meta Knight, Kibo and Mega Man, makes sense, Celeste and Peach, Kotoko and Banjo and Kazooie, Tenko and specifically female <laughs> Byleth, Nightwing, Ryoma has got to go fast with Sonic, Kurumi and Corrin, Angie and Palutena, Cory and Ice Climber, so we can play with sister. Junko and King K. Rule, Genocide Jack and Wolf, Taichi and Shulk, and Jitaro, the starving artist, <laughs> with Bowser Jr. And that's the lot. That is the rundown. See, we wasted no time. Not a single moment. I was about to reach over and get the die, but that's not what we're doing. Make your picks. First, second, the rundown, the norm, the huge. Tell me, who do you got? I'm gonna make mine too. Because your picks are important, your comments are important. Because you could make fantastic comments like this one here. And this fantastic one here, even the lengthier ones like this one here from last week's episode are all fantastic. And there were more fantastic comments, but I, <laughs> this is one of those series where I can't legitimately put them all on. I, I, you probably could, but I can't. We won't do that. I gotta make my picks. I'm going for Yuta. For second. Because of yesterday. And we're going for... You know, to prove the beef is over, I should pick Sayaka, but I, I don't know if I'm ready for that. <laughs> don't know if I'm ready for that yet. Uh, also, I hope that it is slowly becoming fall weather for you. Because I am so ready for scarf season. I am dying for scarf season. Give me Fuyihiko for second. That doesn't, he's not gonna like make the, the bracket again, so I assume Azura will get third and I'll be like, Oh, we're putting Azura in. But those are my picks. What are yours? You've already said them. We are not wasting any time. We have a large cast here today. So without further ado, I think we don't need a die roll. We don't need a chaos spin. We just gotta go ahead and proceed. You know the gist of it. These Danganronpa characters with the mains that I have given them. And I think I did a pretty good job. Also, forgot to tell you, forgot to ask you, which two who are here do you think is the most fitting or your favorite pairing? I think I changed mine from yesterday close to the end because Hina and Greninja was beautiful. It was a blessing. <laughs> but today I think I gotta go for uh, Nagito and Game and Watch because I can just see him cheesing the nine all the time. But let's go ahead. 
let's go ahead and proceed. Let's start round one. Let's see what goes on. Because as we... Yikes. Poor girl. As we kick things off, there are tributes. And because in season five we installed them, there are podiums. There are always horns. So can we please sound the horns? Oh, ain't that nice? Ain't that pretty? Crazy Oko and Pichu trip and fall in a really bad way, breaking Crazy Oko's necks. Taka wonders about the future with Marth. Teru Teru tries to get others to notice him. Pekko feels strong enough to handle anything. Well, you should when you have Lucina at your side. Junko seems unshaken by any of this. Mondo thinks about what he did to end up here. Fumi doesn't feel prepared for any of this. Sayaka is looking for an easy out. Ryoma mopes around uselessly. Gundam looks around for stuff to scrounge. Akane wants to end things once and for all with Kurumi and Korin, but Kurumi and Korin, they bite the dust. Akane and Woodfield, yeah, we fit trainer. Apparently, a duo made in heaven. Cory sets down a trap with ice climbers, and Yuta gets caught in that trap. Yuta, you're my pick for second. Please get out. <laughs> ASAP. Katoko and Banjo and Kazooie are being adorable as always. Kibo and Mega Man want this to be over already. Azuru won't give up so easily, not with Mewtwo at his side. Great Gozu feels strong enough to handle anything. Munakata twitches uncontrollably. Tengen and Pac-Man wonder about the future. Chihiro and Sheik think of plans to get out of here. Tenko and female Byleth Nightwing just wants it to end already. Nagito and Game & Watch looking out only for himself. Ibuki doesn't really understand what's happening. Genocide Jack looks particularly erratic today. Fuihiko sets down a trap with Villager. Oh, he's probably digging that little trap in the ground, my gosh. Angie and Palutena do something really cute. Celeste and Peach look for someone dumb enough to believe Celeste. Seiko and Krom attack the Great Gozu from behind as well as Ken, and they KO them. Chisa and Link, I'm sorry, Chisa, yes, Chisa and Link get caught in one of Fuihiko's traps. Now all she can do is hope to be free. Taichi and Shulk wish they could go home. Shuishi and Pitt spot something shiny in the distance. Togami and Ganon find dapper suits and they put them on. It's rather fetching. I always thought Ganon cleans up real nice. So Rantaro and Luigi won't give up so easily and Jotaro and Bowser Jr. twitch uncontrollably. We only lost three. It's rare that we don't lose that many in this simulator on the first day. But rare does not mean impossible as we get a Claire de Lune for only a fallen three. Crazy Yoko and Pichu. Kurumi and Korin, the Great Gozu, and Ken. And that leaves us with another 32. We still have plenty to go! We still have a ton to go! In fact, we didn't even lose, we didn't lose many at all this time. We gotta keep on going. We can do better than, y'all can do better than three. Y'all can do, you're gonna do better than three, I'm pretty sure of it this time, as we start round two. Tengen and Pac-Man, they twiddle their thumbs. Genocide Jack and Wolf are a little bit kinder now. Ibuki and Young Link sob quietly. Pekko feels strong enough to handle anything. Hifumi doesn't have to, or hopes he doesn't have to harm anyone. Teru Teru and Wario try to get others to notice them. Kibo and Mega Man wish they could go home. Banjo-Kazooie wants to end things once and for all, as well as Katoko with Munakata and Ike. Munakata and Ike bite the dust. Sayaka and Jigglypuff are being adorable as always. Seiko and Krom both finally snap. Uh-oh. Rantaro and Luigi find them leather scraps just enough to patch together some rudimentary clothing. Caveman Luigi, Caveman Rantaro, as Gundam and Pokemon Trainer try to kill Shuichi and Pit. Maybe I should have picked Pit and Shuichi since, yeah, maybe so. Because they retaliate and kill them instead, Shuichi's getting that residual birthday look from earlier this week. Taichi and Shulk plan to get out of here. Tinko and Nightwing set down a trap. Still caught in the trap. <laughs> Chisa and Link just lay there moping. Chihiro wonders about the future. Ch uh, Celeste thinks of a dark, dark poem. Jotaro and Bowser Jr. both eat things that they shouldn't have and die of horrible stomach pains. Crazy Yoko and Pichu were gone. Azuru and Mewtwo are looking out only for themselves. Fuiko is smart enough to disarm one of Tenko and Nightwing's traps. Shuichi ambushes. Shuichi's on a roll right now. Ambushes Ryoma and Sonic and gets rid of them. He was apparently not fast enough. Not fast enough at all. Mondo and Captain Falcon size their muscles. They show him what you've got. Yuta and Meta Knight still trap scream for help, but nobody answers. Taka and Marth feel sorry for Chisa and Link and free them from the trap. Junko and King K. Rule try to get others to notice them. Cory and Ice Climbers won't give up so easily. Ganon and Togami find this all below their concern. Angie and Palutena being adorable as always. 
Akane and Weefit Trainer spot something shiny in the distance, and Nagito and Game & Watch twiddle their thumbs. We lost five this time. Four this time. Four this time. Which is technically like eight this time, since or more because Pokemon Trainer has a ton. But first, we don't worry about that. We get a Claire de Lune instead for... Munakata and Ike. Gundam and Pokemon Trainer. Jotaro and Bowser Jr. Ryoma and Sonic. We still have 28 remaining, which is still larger than a standard sized game. We've only lost seven. You guys gotta do some some things. You gotta get some things, some action. I guess none of you have actually picked up any weapons, which is surprising. Which is actually very surprising for this simulator. But let's go ahead. Let's see if you pick some up on the next round. Because we gotta keep going. We gotta proceed. We gotta see who's going to the singles premiere. We gotta go. And then next week, gosh, there's Agents of Chaos. We're there already. My goodness. Let's go ahead. Oh boy. To round three. Cory and Ice Climbers twitch uncontrollably. Rantaro and Luigi won't die like the others. Togami and Ganon try to kill Mondo and Captain Falcon, but Mondo and Captain Falcon retaliate and kill them instead. With the knee! With the knee. Saika and Jigglypuff look for someone dumb enough to believe them. Teru Teru and Wario want this to be over already. Chihiro and Sheik are cooking up a genius idea, while Chihiro's father, Taichi, and Shulk think about what they did to end up here. Pekko and Lucina feel strong enough to end anything. Chisa and Link are only looking out for themselves. Tinko and Nightwing set down a trap. Celeste is finding a weapon. Thank goodness someone's making moves. Shiny and sharp, she gets herself a sword. Not really in Peach's arsenal, but you know what? Celeste can do some work. Akane and Weefa Trainer look around for stuff to scrounge. Kotoko and Banjo-Kazooie can't wait to kill again. Murderous intent. Oh my. Shuichi and Pekko. I'm sorry, Shuichi and Pit, not Pekko. <laughs> Get caught in one of Tenko's traps. Now all they can do is hope to be freed. Genocide Jack and Wolf aren't sure whether to cry, laugh, or tear their hair out, or fur. <laughs> Nagito and Mr. Game & Watch ambush Junko with the Nine and King K. Rool and get rid of them side off the stage. Kibo and Mega Man wishes they, uh, wish they could go home. Ibuki and Young Link fail, to, fail to grasp the gravity of the situation. You guys are in a, a, a Hunger Games. Get tracked together. Tengen and Pac-Man look for someone dumb enough to believe them. Azuru and Mewtwo are determined to survive this, but undetermined, non-determined is Fuyuhiko towards Kibo, because Kibo's out of this one. Fuyuko and Villager want to end things once and for all with Kibo and Mega Man, and they are gonzo. Yuta and Meta Knight are still trapped and can't do anything. Well, you know what? You can stay trapped. That's fine. Hafumi and Daisy hope that they don't have to harm anyone. Taka and Marth feel sorry for Shuichi and Pit and free them from the trap. Angie and Palatina are being adorable as always. Mondo and Captain Falcon have a horrible feeling in their chest and in a fit of frenzy. Don't forget that she's frenzied. Don't forget that the Kram is frenzied. Because they creep on, uh, creep up on Fuyuhiko and Villager and snap their necks. We lost another four. Another four little teams going on. And that brings us to a standard sized game. And who fell to give us a standard sized game? Well, let's get a Claire de Lune 4. Togami and Ganon. Junko and King K. Rule. Kibo and Mega Man. Your champ, Fuyihiko and Villager. So, in terms of things that happen this round, Celeste picks up a sword and your girl is still crazy, Seiko. <laughs> but we have a standard sized game left, which means there might not be too much longer to go. Things could go wild at this point. You know that these competitors tend to get antsy when there's only a few people left, so let's go and see if they get antsy as we click next round. And proceed. I saw a bunch of orange, but it looks like there's only one person gone at the beginning. Hafumi and Daisy, as they weren't looking and fell off of a cliff, apparently Daisy's umbrella was not enough to carry the both of them. Celeste and Peach swooshed the air with their sword. Yuta and Meta Knight. Oh, they were struggling in the trap, and now Yuta and Meta Knight are bleeding pretty bad. They're bleeding out, it's the last thing they can do. Nagito and Mr. Game & Watch only looking out for themselves. Chisa does feel sorry for Yuta and Meta Knight and free them from the trap. Look at that, Jesus. I knew I knew that she was kind. She's not crazy, I tell you what. Gosh darn it, Celeste. Akane and Weefit Trainer feel strong enough to handle anything. Azuru sets down a trap with Mewtwo. Shuichi and Pet Pit look around for stuff to scrounge. Genocide Jack and Wolf's bad brain turn them both into horrible people and wolves. Chihiro and Sheik don't really want to, but find themselves having to get rid of Celeste and Peach. 
she just found a sword too. Cory, an ice climber, sob quietly for her sister. Tengen and Pac-Man look for an easy out. Katoko and Banjo-Kazooie can't wait to kill again. Mondo and Captain Falcon attack Pekka and Lucina from behind and kill her with the Falcon Punch. <laughs> Rantaro and Luigi are wearing leather scraps, it's still a sight to behold. Taka gets caught in one of Azuru and Mewtwo's traps along with Marth, and now all he can do is hope to be freed. Well, Tisa might let you... Never mind. <laughs> Ibuki and Young Link still don't get what's going on. They're kind of wandering around like, what are we doing here? <laughs> and Young Link is like, eh? Toon Link, you would've known what to do. Um, Tenko and uh, Nightwing won't give up so easily. Teruteru and Wario try to get others to notice him. Seiko and Krom look for their next victim. Taichi and Shulk are thinking of plans to get out of here. Sayaka and Jigglypuff are being adorable as always. And Angie and Palutena duel it out with Chisa and Link. But unfortunately, Chisa and Link perish in the battle. We lost four more. Another four gone. We're down to 20, 10 more until you're saving Grace Picks. But for right now, a Claire de Lune for our fallen four duos. Hafumi and Daisy, Celeste and Peach, Pekko and Lucina, Chisa and Link. So your final 20, we'll take a peek, and then we'll take another peek at your uh, final 10. Azuru and Mewtwo, Tengen and Pac-Man, uh -oh. <laughs> Katoko and Banjo-Kazooie, Nagito and Game and Watch, Teruteru and Wario, Ibuki and Young Link, Seiko and Krom, Taichi and Shulk, Chihiro and Sheik, Yuta and Meta Knight, Shuichi and Pit, Rantaro and Luigi, and then we scroll down to see Cory and Ice Climbers, Mondo and Captain Falcon, Sayaka and Jigglypuff, Akane and Wii Fit Trainer, Genocide Jack, Wolf, Taka, Marth, Angie, Palatina, and lastly, Tenko and Nightwing, who I'm not gonna call female violent, it's Nightwing, ya girl, but we gotta keep going. Ten more until your saving grace pick, but zero more seconds until we click next round. And as we start off round five, Angie and Palatina wonder about the future. Banjo, Kazooie, and Katoko look for someone dumb enough to believe them. Azuru and Mewtwo are only looking out for themselves. Nagito and Game and Watch try and kill Chihiro and Sheik, but they must have just gotten fresh out of the way, teleported out of the way of the nine, and retaliate, killing Nagito and Game and Watch. Good on them. Genocide Jack and Wolf twitch uncontrollably. Taichi and Shulk wish they could go home. Tinko and Nightwing size their muscles. Abuki and Young Link don't really understand what's happening. Rantaro. We got a lot of orange down there. I don't know what's going on. Rantaro steps down a trap in a fit of frenzy. Seiko and Krom creep upon Taichi and slaughter him dead. Sayaka and Jigglypuff find a shotgun. She starts thinking about all the damage she can do. Oh no, at least it wasn't a kitchen knife. The beef's over. The beef's over. <laughs> Shuichi and Foot look around for stuff to scrounge. Uh, Chihiro and Sh Sheik. I don't know why, but their name combination just puts marbles in my mouth. Is thinking of plans to get out of here. Something inside of Cory and the Ice Climber snap. They're all frenzied. Uh oh, there's gonna be mallets everywhere. Teru Teru and Wario get caught in one of Rantaro and Luigi's traps, and now all they can do is hope to be freed. Akane and Wii Fit Trainer challenge Banjo, Kazooie, and Katoko to a duel. Katoko, Banjo, and Kazooie bite the dust, unfortunately. Mondo and Captain Falcon wonder about the future. Tengen and Pac-Man kind of wander off, kind of walk, 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 walk off the screen, and they are never seen again. Okay. Gundam and Pokemon Trainer's corpse rot silently and still caught in the trap. Taka and Marth kind of just lay there, moping, not doing a thing, and just kind of chilling. We lost once again. Another four. It seems like four is just the average that we'll be losing every day because right now we still gotta get a Claire de Lune. Four. Nakito and Mr. Game and Watch. Taichi and Shulk. Katoko and Banjo and Kazooie. Tengen, and Pac-Man. So your final 16. You all know who they are, because it's the final 20 that we had earlier, minus these four people. You guys can do the quick the quick mental roster in your brain as I click proceed, because we still gotta get to your save and grace picks. It's six more until then. With this rate, we'll have it in two rounds, but as we click next round, we might not have it in two rounds, because it's very peaceful at the start of round six. Rantaro and Luigi just wanted to end already. Cory and Ice Climbers look around maniacally, seething, ready to throw their hammers, ice, and sickles all over the place. 
Still caught in the trap, Taka and Marth just lay there, moping. Chihiro and Sheik are being adorable as always. Monica, uh, I'm sorry, not Monica, Mondo and Captain Falcon feel strong enough to handle anything. Akane and Wifu Trainer are low-key a pretty good team. Look around for stuff to scrounge, Teru Teru and Wario manage to pull themselves out of the trap. It rarely happens, but it's happened today. And I think Teru Teru was one of the first people to do it. I think he might be the only person to do it twice. In a fit of frenzy, Seiko creeps up on Shuichi and Pit and slaughters them dead with the help of Krom. Seiko's going nuts. <laughs> Taichi's gone, and so is Shulk. Angie and Paula tend to think about what they did to end up here. Genocide Jack and Wolf's brain both turn them into an absolute pain to deal with. Yeah uh oh Azura and Mewtwo are now wearing leather scraps. It's a sight to behold. Ibuki and Young Leek find a Master Sword, more than likely. A rather nice find. Shiny and sharp. Tinko and Nightwing are determined to survive this, and Sayaka and Jigglypuff reload their shotgun, just in case. We only lost a single soul. His birthday luck didn't get him the win from earlier this week, but can we get a Claire Day Loom 4? Shuichi. And Pit. Five. Five more. Until it's time for the Saving Grace pick. Are you ready? I think we gotta just be ready. We gotta keep on going. There's no time to waste. It's our time to be. It's our time to proceed. As we lose Genocide Jack and Wolf as Angie and Palatina ambush them and strangle them, I expect you to use your little freaking up out of the ground light beam, but apparently strangulation works just as well. Terra Terra and Wario don't care much for this place. Rantaro, we might get our five gone right now. Rantaro and Luigi are wearing scraps and so that's sight to behold. Cory in the house and Ice Climbers look for their next victim, Tinko. And Nightwing set down a trap. Gundam and Pokemon Trainer are gone. Chihiro and Seiko are cooking my genius idea, but it probably did not include wanting to end things once and for all with Akane and with a Wii Fit Trainer because they bit the dust because of it. This frenzy is going nuts for Seiko and Krom as they creep up on Tinko and Nightwing and snap their necks. Mondo and Captain Falcon are still showing you what they've got. <laughs> uh, Azura and Mewtwo are looking out only for themselves. Still caught in the trap. Still caught in the trap. Y'all are just chilling there, Taka and Marth. Ibuki and Young Link are swooshing the air with their master swords. Twin master swords. How cute. Korn and Kurumi are gone. I wish they would have lasted longer. I actually really like both of those characters. Sayaka and Jigglypuff creep up behind Rantaro and Luigi and shoot them point blank with her, their shotguns. Oh, oh my. Oh me oh my. That leaves us with one more until you're saving Grace Pick. Your final 10 is almost here. But to get there, we had to get through these four and we have to give a terrible, terrible Claire de Lune 4. Genocide Jack? and Wolf, Chihiro, and Sheik, Tenko, and Nightwing, Rantaru, and Luigi. What can we do but proceed one more until your saving grace picks D and Needham is, uh, I'll check in a second. We'll check in a second, because I, I do have a query, but for right now, let's proceed and see what happens. At the start of round 8, Teru Teru and Wario try to kill Akane and Wii Fit Trainer, but they've been doing work, retaliate, and kill them instead, which means we're at your final 10. And we will be at a perfect final 10. Mondo and Captain Falcon hum a song to themselves, Ibuki and Young Link don't really understand what's happening, Azuru and Mewtwo won't give up so easily, Sayaka and Jigglypuff arm their shotgun at- or aim their shotgun at Cory in the house and Ice Climbers, but they miss. They miss the shotgun shot. Still caught in the trap, Taka- they're still- you guys have been trapped for so long! Akane and Wifa Trainer spot something shining in the distance. The pile that used to be Jotaro and Bowser Jr. putrefies silently. Oh wow, Seiko and Krom's frenzy finally died down. I didn't expect that. I expected them to like die of a heart attack in like the 10th round. Angie and Paula tend to do something really cute, and Ice Climbers and Cory look for their next victim. We only lost one, which means after this, Claire de Lune, four. Teru Teru and Wario. Then we can go back up. We can click on details. Yeah, that's what I thought. Someone's been hiding out. <laughs> I was like, is is my boy still he is. Okay, which means hold on, hold the phone. We can stop that because it's time for your Saving Grace Picks. It's the final 10. 
And with five KOs because of that shocking frenzy, Seiko and Krom. Sayaka and Jigglypuff with a single kill. Mondo and Captain Falcon have been strutting this whole game. We also have Yuta and Meta Knight who have been bleeding out this entire game. You probably forgot about them because they haven't shown up because they're bleeding out somewhere in a corner. But they're still there. And they're still going strong. Kind of. Four KOs, Akane and Wii Fit Trainer. Taka and Marth are still caught in a trap and they have been for a while. Cory in the house and Ice Climbers can't wait to kill again but don't have a single kill under their belts. Azuru and Mewtwo are still in as well. And we have... Ibuki and Young Link, that's right. And one more team of Angie and Palatina. That's your top 10. Your top 10 set of twos. And one set of three technically because of Ice Climbers and Cory in the house. Two will go to the singles premiere for the title. Who will it be? I haven't the slightest, but you guys have to make your saving grace picks. Make them in the comments, and while you're there, go ahead and like and subscribe, because it helps the channel. Even if you want to ding-dong, bing-bong that bell, you can go ahead and do that too, because that would be absolutely fantastic. <laughs> we got your final 10. I don't know who's coming out on top. I never do, but I do know that I have to make some picks. Yudo was my pick for a second, so I'm going to keep him there. Who was I picking for first? Who did I pick for first? The memory is gone. But I'm gonna go Seiko, because she's my girl from Band-Aid. I think Ibu Ibuki's already in the... Yes, Ibuki's already in there. I kind of want Akane in there, if I'm being completely honest. Maybe Mondo. We'll see. I got Yuta, and I got... Seiko. Those are my two picks for first and second. Who were yours? You made them. You made them in the comments. Because you gotta do it. You gotta make sure everyone knows, so you can celebrate your, celebrate your glorious, your absolutely glorious victory. But, these ten, who we know so strong, Akane, Mondo, Ibuki, Azuru, Sayaka, Kori, Taka, Jotaro, Seiko, and Angie, all, all here, going strong. Hearts pumping blood at the same heart rate as that of a samurai woman. It's the final 10. We gotta go on. We gotta see what goes on as we start round. Ha 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 ha. Oh no. Ibuki and Young Link swoosh the air with their master swords again. Azuru and Mewtwo seem unshaken by that though. In a fit of frenzy, core in the house. And Ice Climbers creep up on Mondo and Captain Falcon and kill them dead. Rest in peace to Mondo. You get in 10th place. And your bro, Taka, and Marth are struggling in the trap and cut themselves pretty bad. You guys should have just kept chilling. You're now bleeding out, just like Yuta. Katoko and Banjo and Kazooie are gone. Sayaka and Jigglypuff can't wait to kill again. <laughs> Angie and Palatina think about what they did to end up here. Akane and Weefa Trainer both put on lovely bikinis. It's actually quite revealing. I'm sure they both look lovely. Seiko and Krom look like they're on the verge of snapping again, which means everyone else better be looking out for that. We lost another one. My boys, they were showing out and they were showing off, but they could not show up in first or second, which means we gotta give a terrible, terrible turnabout to... Mondo and Captain Falcon. A shame. Truly a shame. But we still had nine people in. And they're still still going strong with the heart of a samurai woman. Who will win? Let's find out. As we go on to the next round. Round 10. Taka and Marth finally die of blood loss created by the trap they were stuck in. Y'all died from blood loss in one round. And Yuta's just been chilling here <laughs> for the longest time, bleeding out, but he is still going strong. He's keeping hope alive. As Zuru's wearing leather scraps is inside to behold with his Mewtwo, Saika and Jigglypuff look for someone dumb enough to believe them, panting like wild beast, eyes bulging out of their heads. Cory and the Ice Climbers' frenzies grow overpowering, so overpowering that each of their three hearts gives out rest in peace to Cory and the Ice Climbers. And Seiko's frenzied again. <laughs> yeah, oh. Ibuki and Link don't really understand what's happening. They're like, where's Ganon? He's not in this episode. <laughs> Angie and Palatina do something really cute. And Akane and We Fit Trainer start sobbing uncontrollably. We lost two. Down to your final seven. 
Which means, it's truly a terrible, terrible turnabout for... Taka and Marth, Cory and Ice Climbers. Seven. Your final seven. Your lucky seven. Who will be the lucky few to go on? I don't know. Only two can go on to the singles premiere. In terms of the people here, I think it is just... Just Ibuki? Did Azuru? No, Azuru didn't make it in. I think it's just, yeah, just Ibuki and you lot. So, y'all really need to be <laughs> fighting for this one. They're still, they're still seven, which means they're still going with the heart of a samurai woman. And we're going to proceed to see what that heart gives them. A shame. It gives them a shame. Because at the start of round 11, Ibuki and Young League swoosh the air with their master swords. They might never use them, but they'll have fun just swooshing them around. And I don't know why, but that's just pleasant imagery to me. The pile of flesh that used to be Kurumi and Korin is writhing with maggots. Akane and Wifa Train are looking really good in those bikinis. Sayaka and Jigglypuff eat something they shouldn't have and die of horrible stomach pains. Uh, stomach pains, you, you're the wrong pink puff. Kirby would have been okay with that, but not you, Jigglypuff. And Sayaka, you should have known better. Azuru and Mewtwo challenge Angie and Palatina to a duel, a battle of the gods. Azuru and Mewtwo bite the dust, unfortunately, and Seiko and Krom look for their next victim. Because she's frenzied, so <laughs> they need to watch out. It's the final five. Which means after a terrible, terrible turnabout, four. Sayaka and Jigglypuff. Azuru and Mewtwo. We can see that it's just Ibuki and Young Link. Akane and Wii Fit Trainer. Angie and Palatina. Seiko and Krom, and not pictured here, Yuta <laughs> and Meta Knight still bleeding out in the corner. Do not forget them. Do not forget them. Ladies and gentlemen, these five that I just named, Abuki, Young Link, Akane We Fit Trainer, Angie Palatina, Seiko, Krom, and <laughs> Yuta and Meta Knight are all caught in what we like to call a crisis of fate. Let's do this. Yuta, I, Yuta could sneak away with this one, but now that I've mentioned him, he's probably jinxed. Let's go to the next round and see that he's not yet. At the start of round 12, Angie and Palatina twiddle their thumbs. Abuki and Youngling fail to grasp the gravity of the situation for the 90th time. Uh, all of you were gonzo, except for Akane and Wii Fit Trainer who find a bow and some arrows. Surely it'll take some practice, but it'll come in handy as Seiko and Krom look around maniacally seething at the start of the next round. Say it ain't so. Kurumi and Korin, Tingen and Pac-Man both gone already, Angie and Palatina being adorable as always. In a fit of frenzy, Seiko and Krom creep up on Ibuki and Young Link and snap their necks. They were just having a pleasant time, they were just goofing around. Akane and Wii Fit Trainer find Yuta and Meta Knight somehow, fire an arrow at them, but miss a shame. Yuta's gonna be like, I need to, I need to keep bleeding out in the corner. We only lost one. It's a shame that we lost them. So innocent, so precious. And it's such a terrible turnabout. Four. Ibuki. And Young Link. But you know what? We can't really be that mad. We can't really be that mad. We can't. We cannot. And do you know why? Because Ibuki's already in the singles premiere. <laughs> what can we do about that? Nothing. But. That still leaves us with Angie Palatina, Seiko Krom, Yuta Meta Knight, and Akane and Wii Fit Trainer, the final four, all still caught in a crisis of fate. Who is coming on top? I don't know, but by the power of my scoff, we will find out. <laughs> Let's go on. Let's click next round and see. I was low-key hoping for you two, Akane and Wii Fit Trainer. At the start of round 14, Seiko and Krom look around maniacally, seething. Akane and Wii Fit Trainer practice pulling back that bowstring. Foof. But unfortunately, she couldn't do it in time because Angie and Palatina attack her from behind while she's shooting that bow and get rid of her. Guitar and Bowser Jr. have been gone for a while and they are still decomposing, but we lost another one. It's the final three. Which means we gotta get ourselves a Claire. Daylune. No, I'm sorry, a terrible turnabout for... Akane. And Wii Fit Trainer. 
Now that you think about it, Bikini is probably not the best battle-ready armor. Probably not. Probably not. That's probably what got them killed. But we have Angie Palatina, Seiko Karam, and Yuta, and Meta Knight, who are bleeding out. Could get a bleeding out victory, actually. Two of them will go to the singles premiere for that title. The other one will perish and get nothing. Who's got this? Who's going on? Who's proceeding? Angie kind of needs a little bit of retribution from getting a second in two championship matches during season five. But will her retribution be today? I don't know. But these three are still caught in a crisis of fate. And the only way to see what that fate is, is by clicking next round and by going on and proceeding. Because both of my saving grace picks made it to the final two. Maybe this is a residual knock on wood luck from yesterday because in a fit of frenzy, Seiko and Krom creep up on Angie and Palatina and slaughter her. Which means after a terrible, terrible turnabout for... Angie. And Palatina. It is down to a man who's been bleeding in a corner this entire game, Yuta. And Meta Knight. And a woman who's been going nuts for the majority of this game, Seiko, and Krom. These are your final two. And since it's your final two, I have to ask you just who do you think it will be? Seiko and Krom, the crazy duo. Yuta and Meta Knight, the duo who's been bleeding out on the ground in a corner. Who? Who do you got? I haven't the slightest. I have no idea. <laughs> but they are my saving grace picks. And they are both going on to the singles finale. Let's find out who it's going to be between Seiko, Krom, Yuta, Meta Knight. Seiko, Yuta, Krom, Meta Knight. Nobody yet. At the start of round 16, there's a bunch of souls who are just gone, and Seiko still looking for her next victim. In fact, she's looking around maniacally and seething at the start of round 17. She just can't find him as she continues to look for that next victim, and at the start of round 19, she continues to look. Can she find him in time? Maybe, maybe not, because at the round of, start of round 20, she's still looking around maniacally seething. She can't see a thing. At the start of round 21, she's looking with vigor. She's searching. She's praying. She keeps looking left, right, up, down. But she doesn't look in front of her as she trips over these tiniest of pebbles. Falls in a really bad way. And breaks her neck. Which means... After this Claire... Daylune... 4... I'm sorry, not even Claire Daylune. It's a terrible turnabout, because Seiko went off this game for... Seiko and Krom. I don't know how many rounds this man's was bleeding out, <laughs> but as we scroll down, I gotta show you guys, I gotta tell you guys that, hey, your winner. Bleeding out for probably easily over a dozen rounds. Meta Knight stayed by his side. Yuta. Uh, someone get that man's a blood bag, because, once again, I must reiterate, your winners. <laughs> With a grand total of zero kills. Not only pacifist style, but <laughs> cowering in a corner and bleeding out style. Yuta and Meta Knight take the win. What is life? <laughs> we haven't had one of these before. A bleeding out victory. Where is this man? He's just bleeding out in the corner. Oh my gosh. 21 rounds. I gotta- we gotta look. We gotta look at when he- when he started bleeding out. We're actually gonna- yeah, we're gonna- we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back and check the archive. Uh, next round. Uh... Da -da -da. Yes, he's- Round four? He started bleeding out in round 4 and lasted around 21 to win Yuta. He earned that one. That man struggled, he hid, and he made it. Congratulations.
Y'all might have forgotten about him at one point. I was like, is he still in? He's still in my two saving grace picks. I got him switched on the wrong ways, but hey. Yuta, you came through, and I am... Did I pick Seiko at the beginning? Did I? I don't think I did. I know I picked Yuta. I don't think I picked Seiko at the beginning. But if I did, major kudos to me, because <laughs> I'm great. This was incredible. I'm proud of Yuta, and I'm proud of Meta Knight. If anyone deserved it, I guess it was you too. Seiko might have deserved it, because look at her. She got seven KOs in this game. Akane and Wii Fit Trainer also kind of deserved it. They were going off for a while. They were the, the queens of retaliation with four kills. Angie and Palatina also with four. Mondo and Captain Falcon with two. They were showing off their moves. Seiko. Is, uh, she, she did so well. Uh, Shuichi and Pit with two. Chihiro and Sheik with two as well. Sayaka and Jigglypuff with one. Mr. Game & Watch. And Nagito with one. Katoko and Banjo-Kazooie with one. Fuyuhiko and Villager with one. And Cory in the house and the Ice Climbers with one. Everyone else had none. Zippity-doo. Zero KOs. And one of those was our winner. Yuta and Meta Knight. No KOs. Plenty of blood. And they came out on top. That's nuts. So we had a bleeding out victory. We've been waiting for it. I didn't think it would ever happen. Little did I know. Here it is. This is that. This is that victory that some of you were actually waiting for a bleeding out victory. So here we go. Congratulations to Yuta. Joining his wife, <laughs> Camille, from this week in the tag team. I'm sorry, the singles finale. Which we have Fuyuhiko, Samugi, Hiro, Rei, Gozu, Abuki, Ace. Himiko, Saibigoyu, Felix, Nagito, Mahiru, Mikan, Kokichi, Mukuro, Tokoyami, Mew, Haiji, and now Seiko, and your boy Yuta. I'm proud of them. I'm proud of these two. I wanted those two. I wanted Celeste, but you know what? If it had to be those two, I'm glad it was those two. Year of the Horizon. Next week, Chaos Brews. We'll see who will have a target on the champion's back throughout the entire season. It's gonna be a fun one. Singles and Tag Team Agents of Chaos, and during that Tag Team Agents of Chaos match, we will be filling out the rest of that Tag Team bracket. So stay put for that. And if you have any, I'll say this for, for next time, get thinking if you have any uh, Tag Team suggestions. I don't have all of the people mixed and matched up, but I do have some teams kind of mixing up already. If you have any suggestions from those, leave them in the comments. Either now or think about it and do it next week. Because your time is approaching. It is approaching for season six. After next week, we got premieres. Stay classy, passengers. Year of the Horizon, Toon Link, Dave, United States Aviator. Stay safe, stay classy. Toodaloo. Like Thanks for watching.